Buongiorno. The bells just chimed 7 a.m. And I woke up about an hour ago, but I've just been sitting watching these beautiful, fluffy clouds that are glowing in the sunrise pass by our bedroom window. So I thought I'd share it with you. Today is a big cleaning and organizing day because we have furnishings, some furnishings arriving here on Monday. Today's Saturday. And hopefully today we might even do some drone photography with a friend, a new friend. And tomorrow we're off to Fico Pisano to their famous flea market. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to do that. And especially because I get to meet the gorgeous Marie Kidd, who I actually interviewed on one of my previous videos. Um, if you haven't seen that, please go back and watch it. It was awesome. And also, her lovely husband, Renzo, and they run a wonderful b, &B in Vico Pisano. So I'm really interested in talking to them. And of course, in checking out all the wonderful treasures at the market. So let the day begin. Buongiorno. <laughs> It's been a busy day and we've been doing lots around the house and I totally forgot to film anything for you but basically it's a big clean up and creating a little wardrobe for ourselves and just getting a little bit organized after our big brico io <laughs> which is like a big hardware store um, for Australians it's a bit like going to a big Bunnings so anyway we did that yesterday as well as collect some antiques and I'm going to spin the phone around and I'm going to show you what I've been up to this morning this afternoon, oh that sun, talk about being under the Tuscan sun. <laughs> um, this afternoon we're going to clean up the cantina, the room right downstairs on the ground floor and we are going to start to get that organized because some furnishings arrive on Monday and we needed to put things from up here that were here in the way down there but it needs a good clean up, it hasn't been cleaned. We did the rest of the house the other day. So here we go. This morning I also did my first lot of washing and as you can see I'm going Italian style. I bought this little cute thing that hangs over the balcony and everyone can see my undies out to dry just like everywhere else in Italy and I love it. And I'm on the balcony and as you can see it's very full sunshine with a beautiful bright blue sky but we have some shade from this lovely tree that dangles in and there's a couple of my beautiful purchases from the lovely Emma Kate at Tutto Torna in Montaione. So that's my little bird cage. It's not going to stay here. I've just popped them outside while I was working, but it's a beautiful antique um, bird cage sitting on a really gorgeous little shabby chic that's been beautifully restored. It doesn't look at the hearts, but that is covered in wonderful beeswax, so it won't mark. And I, what I loved was I bought this online from her without seeing it, but I didn't notice that the paint was mottled and there's tiny little dots of like a terracotta color, a deep azure blue, and then the timber underneath, which is just so sweet. And it has a really pretty foot on it. So that's two of the purchases, but we did make some more. Um, as I turn around, this is wrapped because we had to wrap it to bring it home and you may not be able to decipher what it is. But this is a beautiful big sort of crystalline lampshade which is going to look beautiful and create wonderful light just in this narrower part here of what is our lounge room. Ignore the bed, that was the old single bed that was left. That's the only thing in the house we have to sit on so it's remained for now and I'm just clearing my mess but as you can see, big clear up. So that lovely crystalline light will replace that fairly bland one. I love my terrazzo floors. They're such a pretty color. They're really delicate, far better than I thought. We have bought the most spectacular antique from the 1800s antique crystal chandelier, um, Italian, that is going to replace this light fitting which plenty of people might like this light fitting, but it's not our style. So that will go to a good home for sure. 
where that funny little orange curtain is, which will go, is called the ripostilio. Eventually we'll have a door made for here to make it lockable. But for the moment, oh, and I don't have a light bulb in here, so it might look dark to you. So we've got to put a new light bulb in. But today, what we did was we created a little walk-in wardrobe for ourselves. So we bought this little stand just to hang some things. We've got tubs with our T-shirts and all the bits and pieces. Got some shoes down there. Got our ironing board, our iron, a little mini suitcases, etc. So this will make an awesome once it's properly designed, obviously. But for the moment, it's perfect. Hello, David. <laughs> There's that hard-working man. Buongiorno, amore. We have lovely Italian music playing in the background to keep us going. But that's part of this morning's work and I'll continue to Sorry? That's French. Oh, it's French now. I didn't hear. Oh, we're very continental in this family. Yes, it is like a camping ground here still and it will be for a little while, but um, quite an awesome camping ground. We now have our beautiful little antique table. Mm. And although the rest of the room is empty, we have a splendid view outside, a beautiful breeze, and we've just thrown together because we can't cook a really sort of deconstructed <laughs> caprese salad because we don't have any sharp knives. So we've got sort of funny chunks of tomato, chunks of fresh mozzarella, which is to die for, some local prosciutto from the local farms, yeah. locally grown lettuce and it's a yours. beautiful big chunk of bread that we yeah. cut off um, from a big square loaf that here in Tuscany they called a cavallo which I'd never heard of and everything mm. is absolutely delicious oh with some awesome olive oil of course yeah. sprinkled over it as well mm. well look at that man he is not enjoying his lunch one bit mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. what a to tutti mm. We're just giving the uh, <laughs> front steps <laughs> a good clean that they've uh, had years of uh, Before and after. moss and whatever else growing. And so we're just giving them a good scrub with a bit of a stone bleach cleaner. I'll show you. Oh. Oh. Comes up. Like, this is the first go, obviously. This is the first go, so it might need a couple of goes or maybe three goes to really make it shine. But that's looking pretty good after one go. <coughs> Just coming down the stairs. So if I swing around, so all of these edges, they were all green with moss. So we've cleaned those as well. So they're looking pretty good. Mm. And then we're just doing this top bit. And we realise this will need to be repainted as well. Yep. Uh, the iron. The iron gate. A little bit rusty here and there. So we'll get a, a nice paint for that. Put a new paint job. That'll be good. There's our little pots and things. Some pretty pots and flowers. Yeah. Something out here, even a little chair or table here as well, yeah. David, as well as out in the back. Oh, no, yeah, it's big oh, enough. I'm sitting here in the morning, it's lovely first thing in yeah. the morning. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, Keanu in the bright morning sun, so. Yeah, beautiful. I think both balconies leave little places to sit. Great. All right. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Stunning. Look at this amazing entryway into Ficopisano. A whole kilometre or more of just the most stunning trees, tree-lined avenue, all the way into the village. It's beautiful. Oh, and I've just had my first glimpse of the ancient tower. There it is, David, over to the right there. I don't know if you can see that through the trees. That's beautiful. That's what we were looking for. And all we were getting were apartment buildings and, and industrial things. And we were thinking, no, this does not look like the ancient village of Vico Pizzano where the, the beautiful antiques market is. What the hell's going on here? But now, aha, 
This looks perfect. Before, ah, yes, this looks wonderful. So let's hope we are now going in the right direction for the market because I believe it takes place in the heart of the village. We're here to do shopping. So we have already done one tiny bit of the village mm. and we're full of bags. We're full of full bags. bags. We are already um, well and truly on our way to finding mm, lots of wonderful things. It's awesome. It's such an awesome market. We've, we've done about nothing yet. So and I've already spent some money. <laughs> um, but I'm loving it. We've found some mm. gorgeous bargains already. I'm so glad we got here early. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> it's awesome. Good I'll turn around Some and show you where stuff, we're yeah. standing. It's just beautiful. So we've just come out of that place there where the the doorway is, so to speak. Um, we've done that section. We've already bought, 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 bought there. Now we're at the Torre delle Quattro Porte. And now we're out in an outside area. There's another little tower over there. And we're headed down this alleyway here with all those stores. And it's just so exciting. Having such a good time. Everywhere we look around here, Mm -hmm. is just magnificent so look at that wonderful mm -hmm. Roman bridge which Marie did explain to me that the whole village was surrounded by water it was actually yeah. like a sea all the way around and they used to actually come around into the Gopisan all the way from Pisa by boat would you believe it was actually attached to the Mediterranean at some point and then we've got behind the market here as you can see we've got these beautiful walls city with the incredible towers up above which is just stunning absolutely stunning how people haven't heard of this i'm bewildered <laughs> Chad david oh we're now going for a beautiful little stroll we've bought up big at the market and we thought while we're waiting for lunch to arrive we will take a little stroll through the back streets of Vico Pisano which is absolutely delightful so beautiful can't believe never heard of it before until I met Marie mm -hmm. but um, she's doing a great job at putting it on the map and it truly deserves it look at this it's beautiful it's as beautiful as any other oh look at the um, cannonballs David oh, yeah. look at this you might be getting a bit of glare sorry because we're straight into the sun but look at this some cannonballs sitting in a little park mm. lovely little terraced park here in front of what's this La Generazione Transme Città di Vico Pisano beautiful buildings another amazing Ceto Sessantuno awesome just beautiful I'll try and stay in the shade so we're not getting the glare but there are all these gorgeous towers there we go mm, crests yes flags. crests on the flags there beautiful buildings well, look at how gorgeous this is yeah. the arch there the building and dear little table and chairs there Oh, and look at this beautiful veggie garden these people have got in front of their house. Still some yummy tomatoes sitting on there. They've got lemon trees. Isn't that just awesome? Oh, beautiful. It is a type of bougainvillea. It's very pretty, isn't it? It's a purpley colour one. Look at this lovely orange house. I really love the the juxtaposition of the bright colors against the stone mm. and look there's the tower through just see the tower sticking up through there and we're coming down some stairs so i'll just watch where i'm going mm. david keeps on 
playing in the photographer. You can't blame him though. Everything's very, very photogenic around here. Must admit, look at this. This is awesome. How pretty is that? Look at the gorgeous colours. Lovely little setting there out the front there, David, as well. And the olive trees. Torre della Rorilogio. And the Rocca del Brunelleschi. So let's go here. And as you can see, we're under a very bright Tuscan sky. Bright blue Tuscan sky. Lots of Bougainvillea. course washing out to dry just like mine is doing the Italian thing at home and got my washing out as well oh look at these beautiful little terraces everywhere yes beautiful and look at this oh that's where they keep their water darling off their roof that's a pozzo they have them a lot in rural areas for collecting the water or oh, every area actually around Italy I've seen those but that's a really attractive one all these lovely rosemary plants growing everywhere that's a lovely little terrace area all these gorgeous stone walls everywhere oh and look at this just we just head down a very very steep staircase which I'm just going to watch myself going down these last few steps here and then we head into Night. There we go. So you have all the lovely terraced walls. And the Torre Brunaleschi. The sun directly behind it, so it looks like it's glowing, doesn't it? I must ask Marie, I'm not sure what Mary Shelley has to do with Fico Pisano, but there's this beautiful sculpture done in 2017 by Daria Palotti and sitting in this gorgeous garden with roses mm. behind it. Up in the distance you have that beautiful villa with the, just the tip of the clock mm. tower above us and it's shadowed by that lovely tower that I just filmed. There's my handsome man. <laughs> and what a quiet, beautiful little spot to come and sit and contemplate. I'm just here keeping Mary Shirley company. Thought I would just stop here. She looks so peaceful and beautiful. It's such a lovely, quiet spot. But the village itself is lovely and quiet and peaceful like Kiani. It's lovely finding little green spots like this with olive trees and roses and so beautiful after the hectic hour and a half I suppose of running around buying lots of antiques which was so much fun and such great value we are over the moon I love finding just little tiny pathways and all of a sudden you come across gorgeous gardens whoopsie I just fell backwards Beautiful wall, coloured walls, stone walls. Look at that gorgeous garden. David, come and look at this. Mm. Look at that beautiful little shaded spot they've got there. Oh, with. Yeah. What yeah. a gorgeous idea. Yeah. Little shady romantic spot in the courtyard. These beautiful steps and walls and rosemary bushes and olive trees. Oh, it's paradise to me. We're just wandering back through the central square where evidently the markets normally take place but for some reason they've been changed but I thought it was spectacular where they had them today under the towers. So there's a lovely fountain here which isn't functioning at the moment but obviously normally does. <laughs> and there are the towers up in the distance and we're meeting Marie and Lorenzo in about 15 minutes to have lunch at one of their favourite little restaurants which I'm so looking forward to because they say the food is sensational. And I'm getting a bit hungry David, are you? Uh, you looking forward to lunch? Yes. I'm really looking forward to lunch. Look where I am. 
week with my beautiful friend Marie and Lorenzo. And I was so excited to meet them. But then on top of that, bingo, I got to meet also Owen beautiful from Owen. our man, the beautiful Owen from our man in Volterra and the gorgeous Neve, whose name is impossible to spell. <laughs> and of course, and he David, my gorgeous man David, of course. And we're just about to have, we've just had some Prosecco, we're just about to have a beautiful meal in this lovely, lovely restaurant. Look at the lovely. And I'm having porcini and mushrooms with tagliatelle, which sounds perfect. So, I just feel at home here with these lovely people. It's just awesome to be here and every day gets better and better. We're so happy. We're so happy. Thank you, lovely people, for making us feel so welcome. Ciao. Ciao. Carrying just aim, aim it towards the table now, not the belly. Uh, I've only got the table, I promise. What do you call this, Marie? <laughs> and why use that? Why use that? I don't see the correlation at all. <laughs> because? Hmm. It's just, does it sort of look like that, does it? <laughs> ah, mm. Uh, yes. Really to be here. That's my my writer's imagination hasn't caught on yet, but, but I believe you. <laughs> they have stopped for a bit of chit chat, but my mirror is still coming in the right direction. <laughs> oh!